Let's do an overnight brisket on the Z-Grills Backyard Warrior Stainless Steel Wi-Fi. We're gonna be using a new kind of schmear, salt, pepper, garlic, and a secret ingredient. So we wanted to do a brisket on a Saturday night and have it ready by Sunday for lunch. We have some friends coming over, but I didn't wanna be stuck all day long during the daylight tending to a smoker. So I've done some overnight briskets before in the past and it usually didn't end very well. In fact, I had to make the hopper taller with cardboard because I just burned through so many pellets so quickly. But the Z-Grill Backyard Warrior has a 24 pound hopper and I think we can set it and forget it, go to bed and wake up at a normal time and be ready to go to wrap and finish it off. So we started out with a Costco Prime brisket. It's about 14 and a half pounds and folks, if you don't know, 14 pounds is a really good manageable size for these briskets. So I trimmed it down, did a backyard trim, nothing too crazy here. I wanted to keep a lot of that fat, but I also used the trimmings for some tallow. You can go check out our shorts to see how I made that tallow. So lately we've been experimenting with using mayonnaise as a schmear. And guys, don't laugh, it works. We took this mayonnaise, smeared it, and then we used our Typical salt, pepper, granulated garlic, and our secret ingredient, smoked paprika. Now the paprika gives it a really nice color, a little hint of a flavor in the background that's pleasing. And uh, if, you, if you start looking at some of these shakes and rubs out there on the market, you're gonna see that paprika is a common ingredient. So the first thing I did was vacuum out the fire pot and the smoke box and just make sure it was clean, clean grates. I got rid of that top shelf, uh, it'd probably just get in the way. I filled up the hopper with some basic competition blend hardwood pellets. Now I went for a temperature of 235. I didn't want to go too low, but I didn't want to go too high. It's outside. Figure here where I live, it gets to be in the low 50s uh, this time of year, so I didn't want to set it too low, then I just put it on, plugged in one of the thermometers that comes with the Z-Grills, fired up the Wi-Fi just to make sure everything's working all right, and then went to bed. Now, the mayonnaise provides a lot of nice oils and moisture, believe it or not. It's not gonna burn away. It may not produce that beautiful dark black bark. Give it a try, I think you're gonna be surprised. Since I wouldn't have the opportunity to start spritzing when it needs it, I think that mayonnaise is gonna help it stay moist. And it did. So you guys see here, this is 3 a.m. and it looks really good. I went ahead and spritzed it a little bit just to be safe using just water. I didn't want any of that vinegar possibly wash away any of that mayonnaise. And then I went back to bed. And a couple hours later, about 5.30 in the morning, woke up discovered that it already beat the stall. I didn't have to deal with it. It was about 180 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. So I pulled out the pink butcher paper, the extra wide stuff, slathered it in some fresh made tallow and wrapped it up. And I put it right back onto the Z-Grills the same way I had it during its earlier cook. But then what I did do is I cranked up that temperature to 275 Fahrenheit. Now that it's wrapped, it's time to push it through and finish it off. And when you wrap it, you can go with a higher temperature. So I decided instead of waiting for the customary 204 to 206 internal temperature, I wanted to go to probe tenderness. So as soon as it felt like it was going through creamy peanut butter, it was done. Had a nice sag, firm, but uh, had that little jiggle. So it was time to come off. So I put it in our oven, kind of as a holding cabinet, a warming cabinet, if you will. I did warm it up on the bread proof setting, which gives me 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the electric oven. And then I turn it off and I'm just leaving it in there. So total time from the time we first put it on the smoker to where we're gonna unwrap it is about 15 hours. That's more or less about what you're gonna see at some barbecue joints, especially when you're starting with a 14 pound brisket. So our friends aren't quite here yet, but when they do get here, we're gonna go ahead and unwrap. All right, guys, check it out. It's been sitting now for about four hours. Look at that, look at that towel right there. We're just gonna go ahead and unwrap it. Okay guys, so don't forget that this uh, butcher paper makes great fire starter, so don't throw it away. Um, roll it up, put it in some Ziploc bags, and uh, start start your next fire with okay? it. Oh. All right, here we go guys. Nice. Look at that. Nice spark, pretty good, it's got that Bit of a jiggle. So here's the point and here's the flat. 
Okay, these, this area here of the uh, point would be your uh, brisket burnt ends. And your flat up here tends to be more the leaner meat. So what I'm going to do is cut right down the middle. Oh, that looks great. Nice little uh, shot right there. So you can see how the uh, fat rendered down nicely. It's what you want. And there's a bit of a smoke oh, ring okay. here, guys. This is just oxidation. Uh, pellet grills aren't known for, for a lot of smoke, but uh, honestly, that Z Grills is doing a pretty good job. And now I'm going to cut a couple pieces here. So today I got some taste testers in the house. We've got Abe and Tiana, and uh, you guys were dying for some uh, brisket. Oh yeah. So why don't you come up and get you some? This is Abe. Good friends of ours. Hi. Okay. Cheers. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Amazing, juicy. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of pepper. Ooh, if, you wow. get, if you get a piece of that bark, how happy. <laughs> there's a lot of pepper on there. Yeah. Um, and it's a little salty. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Right. Look at her. Oh, it's not right yet. He's all moving okay. aside. What's your opinion? Don't hold on. Is it salty? Yeah. Um, it has the right amount of salt, you know, that the mm -hmm. you should have. Okay. Yeah, and it's uh, pretty, the moisture is pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I can taste the herbs and everything. Mm -hmm. you know? Awesome. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and eat now. Yeah. We are? Yeah, Can't gonna, wait. Can't oh, wait. Oh, well, babe, tell, tell us what you think. Which brisket is that? Yours. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.